Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to yet another Destiny 2 video, and today we're going to be doing a rather large opening of faction packages, of course, for the faction rally. Now, as you guys can see, I'm on my Titan, and we decided to go for the new monarchy faction. Honestly, I'm not a diehard fan of any of the three. I don't really care what people choose, um, but for me personally, on Titan specifically, the shaders looked so damn good and the armor itself looked the best i um looked at the future war cult armor for the titan didn't like it at all uh the dead orbit one was okay but i think the new monarchy was the best for the titan so that's why i chose it so as you guys can see we're going in my inventory and i was grinding about two or three hours today and i got myself 400 new monarchy tokens uh just from grinding you know public heroic events um and random stuff throughout each of the planets so we got ourselves 400 of those um i also uploaded a video earlier today I, if you guys haven't seen it there's going to be a little button that you can click in the top right corner of this video and um i uploaded it very early on in the morning and it's basically just the method on grinding faction packages and getting these tokens so without further ado here we go um i can't view what this set actually has until i get a level up so here we go first one we got ourselves an engram it dropped at 297 that's a little bit low my power level is 304 so that's kind of shitty. Hold on, what time is it? 9.12. Okay, never mind. So we're going to take a look at what's inside this new monarchy engram and what we can possibly get. We got the Sovereign Helmet, the Gauntlets, Plate, uh, the Greaves, and of course the Mark. Now, as you guys can see, this is how it looks right here. I thought this was the best set for the Titan by far, and the shader itself is so freaking good. So that's what I'm going for. I also already picked up two of these weapons uh, from opening two packages last night for my last video. So I got the Restoration. And I also got the submachine gun, the Royal uh, Dispense Dispensation. Am I saying that wrong? Okay, I'm just... I just had a brain fart. Anyways, this SMG looks incredibly good just from kind of like my first impressions of it. I haven't used it in PvP just yet, but look out because this thing may be amazing in PvP. I'm going to test it out sooner or later, but here we go. First engram, we got ourselves the Greaves already, and we got ourselves the epic looking shader. Let's go ahead and open up the next package. I'm not really going to waste too much time on these. So Flash and Thunder, we got a power weapon. I don't believe I have that just yet. We got the Song of Justice, and that is number six. Six. let's go ahead and open up the next one here <clears throat> we got the annual skate and another royal dispensation i'm kind of like bummed out because i think all of these are dropping at two yeah they're dropping at 297 so that is pretty damn shitty i know i could wait 30 minutes and get stuff to drop at a higher power level but honestly it's it's not even worth it i'm here i'm doing this video so i'm not gonna wait so we got gauntlets we got the shepherd's watch a sniper i still haven't used that yet uh, the gauntlets themselves do look pretty damn fantastic if i do say so myself uh <clears throat> Carrick type 2 unification number seven where where was that is that a power weapon okay that's the shotgun i've heard good things about the shotgun i'm gonna take a look at everything at the end of the video actually there's no point i might as well open up a shit ton of these engrams for you guys um okay we got a shotgun another energy weapon at this point i'm just going for the armor because that's the only thing that i'm missing we got another one of the smgs and we got the agenda five i've never actually even seen the agenda five retrograde sovereign helmet more shaders don't mind shaders i will take an, a ton of those and wow okay you can actually get exotic weapons so there we go we confirmed you can get exotic weapons now this would be an awesome drop, but I already have all the exotic weapons in the game, so this is kind of pointless. Um, what I might do, though, is infuse it into this. Yeah, I might as well. Do that really quick, and then we'll jump back into the next package. That only went to 299. Shit. I forgot exotics have uh, legendary mods on them. Uh, we still have 10 more packages to go. This is actually nuts. We're going to get everything for sure. We're going to get everything for sure. We're going to get everything for sure. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Um, really quickly, let me see if we're missing anything. We have the helmet. We have the gauntlets. <gasps> we don't have the plate. Oh, no. Please tell me we're going to get it. Don't troll me. How bad would it be if we opened 20 packages and we didn't get the plate? We're getting duplicates and duplicates on deck right now. Still getting more duplicates. We got five more to go. Okay, we got the mark at least. That's another piece that we needed. All I'm hunting for at this point is the is the chess piece. Bungo. Bungo, please. Don't do this to me. Here we go. I'm feeling it right here, guys. Knock on wood. Two more. This is the second last one. 
Oh my god, we're actually not gonna get it. We opened 20 packages and we're not gonna get a full set. Last one. Comment down below right now, guys. If you think I'm gonna get it or not, just say yes or no in the comment section. That's all you have to say. Don't say anything else. I want. I'm gonna do a poll later on and see if you guys had faith in me. Ready? Nose pack. I'm a FIFA YouTuber. Clickbait title. Oh my Jesus Christ. Okay, guys. So we opened up 20 packages in total, and we did not get the chest piece. We got practically everything else in duplicate form, basically, but we did not get the chest piece. But um, overall, I think that was pretty good though because we got every single weapon we needed. Let's see how many shaders we got. Because shaders are important. Um, I'm not going to grind new monarchy anymore after this week. Oh, yeah, that's a shit ton. Look at this. We got 24 of these ones, the new monarchy diamonds. And we got 20 of the new monarchy uh, regalia. Regalia? I don't know how to pronounce that. But, okay, that's pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these weapons. Now, this scout rifle is one that I may have used before. Let me take a look at it. Yes, okay, guys. I used this scout rifle for a video, and I want to say I recorded for about three hours using this. I got lots of footage, lots of gameplay, you know, some some good uh, some good commentary. And I was gonna cut it up, put it into a live com, and I was editing the video, and I realized how shit this weapon was, and how like how mad I was getting at the game, and how just sad I was in the weapon. And I actually didn't end up uploading it. I scrapped the entire project, so that was just a day that I wasted trying to make a video. This weapon right here was so frustrating, and it was just, it was bad. So if you're thinking about using this weapon, you can try it out, but I promise you it is not a tier, top tier weapon. Um, it reminds me a lot of the M14 from Black Ops 2, I believe, or maybe Black Ops 3, I can't remember. But uh, point being, very long range weapon, it shoots slow, and it's not for a game like Destiny 2. So I don't recommend using it that much, to be completely honest with you guys. Um, this is the better site if you do want to try it out, but I, I don't know why anybody would want to. Uh, so we got the Scout Rifle, all of these at 297. We got a Bad News Hand Cannon as well. Uh, the Bad News Hand Cannon isn't really that great. Um, if you guys have tried it before, it reminds me a lot of the Fever and Remedy from Destiny 1, which was an exotic uh, hand cannon that dropped from the Wrath of the Machine raid. Pretty good, but I think the Better Devils is better, and especially on PC, the Better Devils is so crispy. And with the explosive damage, you can't go wrong. So holy crap, look at my secondaries. We have a little bit of everything. We got the Annual Skate. Pretty good hand cannon as well. A lot of people have been telling me that this thing's pretty good. Uh, I haven't used it myself. We've got the Agenda 5, a pulse rifle that I've actually never seen before. Uh, very cool weapon model right there. It's got some nice perk zen moment, extended mag. Gonna throw this in the vault 100% and use it one day. And then I guess the odd rifle and this SMG is all you can use. So I had mine right here and this is the... Where is mine? I guess mine dropped at 297 earlier as well. So the restoration uh, number 8. It looks... Yeah, it doesn't look that great, but again, I have to use these things to really give you guys a good impression of them because obviously, you know, looking at the stats only tells you one side of the story. We got the shotgun. I've heard great things about the shotgun. So this is one I'm looking forward to. It's got full auto trigger system. Holding on the trigger will fire this weapon at full auto. Why didn't they just name it full auto? Like they're just trolling me. High cal rounds on a shotgun might not be that great. Um, but who knows, maybe it flinches them enough so you can land a second bullet with a full auto. Um, and then obviously the first rifled barrel muzzle is nice. Wow, this thing, okay, this thing could be pretty damn good. Okay, I'm going to use that 100%. And um, is that all the weapons that you can get? Just four weapons? Scout rifle, SMG, auto rifle, and shoddy. Yep, okay, so we got duplicates on duplicates of those. And then here we go. We're going to put on the set that I ended up getting. They're all the same. Doesn't really matter which one I put on. <sighs> Didn't get the chest piece. Keep reminding myself of that and i'm getting more depressed each day and uh there it is so you know what actually guys this doesn't look too bad with the set it almost looks like the, like the chest piece belongs to the set i don't know if you guys can tell the same thing but yeah this doesn't look too good though this uh bond that i had on was not liking it that right there looks fairly sick i mean these gauntlets remind me a lot of the gauntlets that you can currently get in the game from like crucible engrams uh but still they do have like some nice texture on them and obviously you have the new monarchy logo here um where else do you have the new monarchy logo you have it on the knee pads on the helmet you have it on the top right and the top no just the top right and if i had the chest piece i'd be able to tell you guys if it's there i guess we can maybe can we check what you can get 
Uh, yeah, okay, so the new monarchy logo is right on the front of the chess piece too, so um, it's good that they didn't overdo it. I, sometimes I hate seeing armor pieces with like FWC written all across the chess piece. It kind of like ruins uh, ruins the armor for me. But anyways, that is the armor right there. That is basically everything that I've gotten. I don't know if I have to show you guys anything else. Obviously, I got some of this, you know, other legendary gear. Um, the Devastation Complex. Um, did I get anything here? The Carrick as well. Um, that's basically it. I showed you guys the shaders. I don't believe any mods dropped and yeah, that's basically everything guys So the only thing I ended up missing there was a chess piece I'm just gonna hunt that down myself and uh, I'll probably get it within a few packages unless my luck is absolutely shit But that is gonna do it for the video guys. Thank you so much for watching uh, Leave a like on the video if you want me to do a new monarchy Well, I've already done a new monarchy one But leave a like if you want to see a dead orbit faction package opening with 20 packages And I can also do do one for the future war call now now, I'm wondering still if I should do the Hunter to New Monarchy, Dead Orbit, or Future War Cult, and where I should do my Warlock to. I guess it just depends what armor looks the best, um, but I'm thinking right now my Hunter is going to be... My Hunter's gonna be Future War Cult, and my Warlock's gonna be Dead Orbit. So I'll be doing faction package opening for those two specific characters and those factions. Just let, let me know by leaving a like and comment down below. And uh, that's gonna do it for the video. So thank you once again for watching, guys. I very much appreciate you all watching and supporting the videos. Oh, Subscribe for more daily Destiny 2 content. Have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you all later. Peace.